So here we have a Samsung Galaxy Ace uh, 3. Um, let's have a look. You can see there is some cracks in the top digitizer. LCD works absolutely fine. Uh, you can just replace the top digitizer on this, no problem. So uh, this is a if I can get a moment, S7275R. Um, I believe the model numbers are S7270, 7272, and then this one 7275, depending on where you are in the world. So, I'm going to show you how to change it. Uh, first thing we have to do is remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 small Phillips um, crossheads. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will come back very shortly. Right, so we have the 10 screws removed here. Uh, they're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Phone here, so obviously, make sure you take the uh, memory card out because you won't be able to get this bit off uh, until you do so. So all 10 screws are now out. So time to get a bezel off. So if you put a little bit of pressure on the inside where the battery goes at the bottom, you can just feel the clips just start to come a little bit loose. And you'll just work your way around the phone. Give it a little wiggle left to right. A little bit of pressure on the board so nothing else moves. So you just want to take this off. There you go. Right, so vibrator motor is attached to it. Looks like the loudspeaker is all attached. Right, so let's go on to the next stage. Right, so we've taken the back frame off and now we've got um, the phone. You're looking for the LCD connector. Uh, I'm also looking to see if you have to disconnect this loudspeaker. Now, just sort of very gently lifting the board to actually see what's connected underneath it and I can see that once you move the board the camera and the loudspeaker will all sort of come out together and the LCD connector is about here so you want to open it up like a book like you're turning a page on a book now the board is held in by a little tiny clip that's uh, going to get a little tool So the board's held down just with a little clip here. Just want to get under it slightly. So the clip is just there. So gently open it up and then you want to see, just release the, the camera. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera there. But the flex, like the housing for the camera here, you just want to move it over so the camera comes out freely. Um, a single connection there for the RCD. And that's your board taken out. So. This phone is, is quite similar to the other Aces, where the flex from the uh, digitizer comes through a gap here, comes down, it plugs into the main flex of the RCD, and then it connects to the board in just this single connector. So this will be lifting this one up. It's normally held down with a tiny little bit of glue. Gently pry it out, lift it up like that. And then what we'll have to do is, just like you did in the other generations of uh, Aces, you won't be taking the LCD out. You'll be getting this warm running uh, ple plectrum around the edges to loosen up and then peeling off the whole screen feeding through that flex and then putting the new one on the same way so right I'm just gonna get my heater turned on and we can start doing so, that so turn my heat plate on um, just turned it on so it goes from sort of room temperature and it'll go up to about 90 degrees and then start cooling it down but it's gonna sit on here for about 60 seconds as it's heating so it won't get any higher than about 60 degrees and um, that says centigrade but it's actually Fahrenheit um, so about 60 degrees Fahrenheit should be enough just to give us a little bit enough uh, tack to be able to remove it so one second right so the screen is now um, heated up I'm going to go in in this corner 
about halfway up on the uh, right hand side. Run down, and I'm going to swap over to get my plectrum in that. Take the metal one out. So I'm going to go around this way because I want the you know towards the last sort of point to be where the flex cable is. So just work your way around. So flex plectrum in, and you're just you know loosening up the glue that holds it down. You can sort of use the motion of when you put a key in your car and then go to turn it. That sort of motion after running it down. Now what you've just got to be a little bit careful of is that normally these are I say glued in and what you don't want to do is catch the LCD um, and because you'll potentially crack it. So you just want to be going around making sure you're doing a nice slow and steady job of just re releasing that glue. There you go. So new touch. Handy because it's already got the adhesive pre stuck. Pre stuck there. All the glues come off on this one, so there's no cleaning required. <sighs> Little blow over the screen to make sure it's all clean. Thread it back through. Line it up. Drop it down. Just give it a little firm push just to make sure the glue is sticking. There's your new flex. So again that's got a new sticky pad on it as well. Peel him off. <coughs> Open up the gate where you put the digitizer ribbon in. I'm going to do it so you can see it quite easily. So match up the white lines, push it down. All right. Just plug this back into the main board, put the board back on, and then we'll power it up, make sure it works. So put the board in the reverse way you took it out, really, so from left to right. So angle it like that, and you can connect LCD connector, and then just fold it back down, making sure the camera goes back into where it needs to and then all we have to do is put the black outer rim case in which clicks in and uh, replace the screws. Back on. Um, it's a bit difficult for you to see this but there's, there's volume buttons and uh, power buttons on left and right and you just want to make sure they're seated properly before you put the back case on. Right, so Place it up. 
feel the alignment and then just work around in a circular fashion giving a little push down making sure everything's clicked down just give the little power button a little push feel the click to make sure they're lined up and they're free and uh, right okay then so I'm going to put a battery in it and let's just test it So, phone is uh, now turned on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All those ones. All seems to work. Home button seems to work. Back button. Yeah, all seems fine. So now, um, just turn it off and then I haven't replaced the 10 screws. So, I mean, everything's clipped down, it's not really going anywhere. So just put back in the 10 screws, put SIM card back in, memory card back in, battery in, in the back casing or a flip case or whatever you've got and then you're good to go. So that is the Ace 3.